Hello everyone. Welcome to Arduino Yard. Today we are going to make an intruder alarm system with the help of an ESP32 in Blink Cloud. This project is perfect for enhancing your home or office security. Using Blink Cloud will allow us to monitor this system from anywhere in the world. The components required for this project are an ESP32 board, a DF robot millimeter wave radar sensor, a small buzzer, a breadboard and some jumper wires. First of all, we would like to thank DF Robot for sending us these amazing components used in this project. DF Robot has an amazing range of Arduino components and sensors. We highly recommend checking out their website for a wide range of innovative electronics products. We are using their millimeter wave radar human presence sensor. And an ESP32 Beetle C3 board. The links to these products are attached in the description. For more detailed information about these components, be sure to check out DF Robot Wiki pages. Now, let's set up our Blink Cloud dashboard. Go to Blink.Cloud and log in with your account. Or create a new account if you don't have one. Once logged in, go to Templates and create a new template. Name the template as required, select the hardware as ESP32 and click Done. Go to Data Streams and create data streams on virtual pins as shown. Now, let's head over to the events section and follow these simple steps to set up the notifications. By doing so, we'll enable Blink to send us instant notifications on our mobile app whenever the system detects any intruder activity. Now, let's proceed with setting up our web dashboard. Simply drag an LED, a label, and a switch onto the dashboard and configure them according to the provided settings. Don't forget to click on the save button to preserve your settings. 
Now, let's add a new device from template. Choose the template, give your device a name and create. Copy the provided lines of code, we will need that later. Now, let's set up our code. You can go to the link given in description to download the code and install the required libraries. Replace these three lines of code with the ones you copied earlier. Then change the Wi-Fi SSID and password according to your Wi-Fi credentials. In the code, we are continuously reading the human presence sensor and saving the value in a variable. We are updating the Blink virtual pins every one second. If an intruder is detected, a warning message is sent to the dashboard and the alarm turns on. A notification is sent at an interval of one minute. You can also change these update interval variables according to your requirements. Now let's select the correct board and compile the code to make sure everything is correct. Now, let's wire the circuit according to this diagram. If you don't happen to have an ESP32 beetle board, no worries. You can easily use any other ESP32 board with just a few minor wiring adjustments. Now, let's upload the code to our ESP32. Select the correct board and port then hit upload. After the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor and wait for the ESP32 to connect to the Wi-Fi. Once the device is connected to Blink, you can see the sensor readings being printed on the serial monitor. Now let's set up the Blink app. Log in to your account and open the template we already set up on the web. Click on the wrench button at the bottom and add widgets as shown here. Feel free to customize the design and colors of the widgets according to your specific preferences.
after everything is set up, go back to open the mobile dashboard. Now, let's see the working of our intruder alarm system. If no intruder is detected, the LED and alarm are off. When an intruder is detected, the LED and alarm turn on. A notification is also sent to the mobile device. Once the status shows, no intruder, the user has to manually disable the alarm from either the web or mobile dashboard. The link to this project is given in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. Visit ArduinoYard.com for further details and projects. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel.